Hello and welcome to another day in the 31 Art Journals. Um, I'm really glad you could join me today. I'm just trying to get myself comfortable there. Um, okay, so these are, there's a set of three that I'd created um, so far. Um, these journals are made from directories, just mini directories. Um, in London we get um, a de directory called the Thompson's Local and um, they were giving out like there was loads of free direct you know like they give them out basically and the ones that aren't used just get chucked so this is a great way to recycle so this particular journal has been covered with fabric and it's called miracles um, and I've just there's different types of fabric that is here that I've been working on and I've done some embellishments as well um, not embellish yeah embellishments these are like mini flowers and on the flowers I have written some words um, let's talk about this this is some material um, I like to collect a lot of material um, because I do stuff with fabric in the sense that I like to create um, wall hangings and things like that and painting on fabric um, so I do have quite a bit of material and it's called something, I went to a, uh, um, it's like a tradition of collecting fabric um, and I went to a course and I can't remember what the lady called it but I was just like oh wow I do that. Anyway so these are um, from my son's old um, school uniform, the trousers, the trousers that we used to buy from um, a local supermarket um, they, it was black, it was black cotton I think and when you gessoed it, it actually was a really great surface to work on and I will show you some other journals um, in the course of this series um, 31 journals that I've done that on if I've not already so you can write on it so I just used bits that were left over and here this particular piece of fabric is um, his school shirt so if you imagine you've got white shirts and so every year you're buying loads of new ones and obviously if it's good you'd pass it down but if you know it's a tatty shirt it's got holes in or whatever it is or stains or whatever um, these actually make quite good surfaces again as well for putting paint on and using in fabric um, experiments here's some lace and I've got a, um, a heart not a heart, this is a butterfly and this is just some organza, I just wanted to see how th that works and I'm not really keen on using organza um, as, but only as a, not like this um, but I, I think the effect is quite nice um, but usually as a kind of a, a, a layer underneath so we've got some here and on top we've got some other layers of fabric and a little bead piece so let's turn over the back, the back I just kept um, plain so that you could see the fabric but this is a really lovely fabric um, I never did make any clothes out of it um, but um, have you've used now most of the fabric for art projects um, okay so let's have a look inside So there's a lot going on in this, this um, we've got a lot of things that are encouraging. Um, I created this, I created loads of tags so on every page you'll find um, a tag. Um, I, this is a small journal in the sense that it's only got, how many pages, six, seven pages. Um, so I sandwiched most of the pages together because I wanted um, that kind of chunky feel. You've got a chunky feel but it's not only coming from the embellishments. Um, I used, I did a lot of journaling in here. 
just trying to see. <laughs> um, on the top it says, as time goes by, the song sung by Louis Armstrong, that, that one that goes, um, you must remember this. A kiss is still a kiss. A sigh is just a sigh. That's one of my favourite songs, that one. And um, we have all the time in the world. So, um, the tag that I've got here, not the tag, the stamp that I used here. Be strong, go with your heart, believe and believe in miracles. Anything can happen. I've got a feather here. Butterfly collage background. And in the back we've got this is um this strip of paper is series of strips of paper um i created some um using recycled paper so in another video i spoke to you about um using like the bills that you get um you can use those and because the paper that they use is quite thick when they're sending you a bill. So sometimes the paper's really nice to work on. So I just use some recycled paper. I painted on each of the different papers and I cut it into strips. And then I, I layered the strips and then cut them into strips. So you've got like a strip of a strip. But I used it for a tag. So this, um, not a tag, sorry, um, quote. So this quote, says the world is but the vastness of the soul the soul is nothing more than love limitless endless all that moves us towards knowing what is true amy tang and I, i've written encouraging words around the edge celebrate in the middle that's a stamp that i have and celebrate showing up today so these particular journals are about encouraging so that moment that you need some encouragement or you need to write something that happened I've left some tags that are blank so that I can do that so let's have a look on the next page each page just has got a quote and each page has got what looks like a tag that's been attached to a page that has been journaled and I've journaled around and journaled on everything and they're reminders of things that mean something to me. So this particular quote by Michael Cardew says, if you are lucky and if you live long enough and if you trust your materials and you trust your instincts and you see things of beauty growing up in front of you, sorry, you will see things of beauty growing up in front of you without you having anything to do with it. Let me read it again. If you are lucky and if you live long enough and if you trust your materials and you trust your instincts, you will see things of beauty growing up in front of you without you having anything to do with it. And that is so true. Okay, so on this, the center, it's got friends. We've got a butterfly and just some journaling about friendship. On this page, it's the center thing is celebrate and I'm writing about what I'm celebrating. Um, the first line here says, I decided today that I really was ready for a change. Sometimes we get stuck in a certain way of doing things and sometimes we do need to change things up. This is um, a quote by Raheel Varhagen. Van Hagen. What am I doing? I'm letting life rain upon me. Okay. I do like the um, the solidness of this journal. As I said, it's just a few pages. Miracles do happen to ordinary people. Make a wish. This quote. If one does not know to which port one is sailing, no wind is favourable. So you need to, you can't just let life happen to you. You need to make a step in doing what you know that you've been called to do. You know that you've got gifts. You know that you were called for a purpose. You know that life, you are not at your destination, that, you know, you are journeying through life. 
you haven't reached your destination. Use your health. Sorry, that quote was by Seneca. If one does not know which port one is sailing, no one, no wind is favourable. Use your health, even to the point of wearing it out. That's what it's for. George, George Bernard Shaw. And in the middle, I've got ask and you will receive, seek and you will find, knock and the door will be open. And that's taken from Matthew 7, 7. So I haven't yet done any journaling on these particular pages and that's to come. And as I said before, that's for a reason because it then allows you to, you know, continually add things to the journal. And I don't think there's any reason why you shouldn't. Um, so I've put quotes on this page. I've done journaling, funnily enough, on this, um, and the centerpiece is, um, it says family, and then we've got additional pages. These were this down the middle, so we've got collagen, collagen, which, um, collage, which is the foundation for each page. I've taken papers that are my favorite, added a quote, and then thought about what the middle section might be. This particular middle section says, glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace, goodwill to all men. Luke 2.14. Laugh out loud. My dad used to laugh out loud. He used to um, watch these. I remember um, it used to be usually at the weekends, obviously, when he um, had the day off and he would love those Tom and Jerry cartoons. And he would, he had this unusual laugh, so much so that we had um, a minor bird who could copy my dad's laugh. It was so funny. Um, and he was, ah, well, we wouldn't be, ah. It'd just be so funny. Anyway, so um, that's a nice memory for me. So what I might have done is talk about the memory of laughing out loud, my dad laughing out loud, and um, the minor bird that we had called Charlie. Um, and that is, again, the great thing about keeping journals, that they can be reminders of different aspects, different memories in your life. And here we have, um, on this particular page, this is, um, I've got this machine called a Cricut and it cuts out repetitive shapes for you um, and you can design your own. And so I'd done, I had done that on uh, this particular piece of paper, slightly thicker than um, normal paper. And then I'd used it to, um, as a stencil and then obviously you've got all this, you know, lovely different types of paint on it as it's dried. And then I've used it as um, a piece of co collage so that I've added it to this paper. And so if I was to gesso part of it, you know, you would still get the texture of the flowers in here. Um, so this is a page that is ready for doing something else on it and so this too and then on the back page I've just kind of you know added um, this is what I added did I add it on the front as well just as yeah so I did it on the front but in here oh I didn't show you that there's a little place to have a private message if you wanted to so this is just paper that I got from, there were these magazines that you could buy, um, like craft magazines, and they would do like free paper in them for you to do, like whether you like making cards, but I never like doing that. So I would like to kind of make something my own, not what somebody else has designed. So on here, I would probably, you know, add some paint, add some gesso maybe, add some journaling, add some more embellishments. Here's a stamp. Who's that from? USA. Um, and then underneath, you can still see some of the um, the wording and from the direct, di 
uh, sorry, from the directory itself. So, there we go. Something's falling down upstairs. So, thank you for joining me today. I hope you've um, enjoyed that little flip through of this journal. And then, um, let me just, as a reminder, I made the tags before I added them to the page and I used this, their little just cotton threads. Um, cotton threads and some brads, different shape brads. And again, it's a great way to use up your supply. So if, if you had loads of different little things that you thought, well, like I used to love making cards, and I still do, but I use my own um, art now. I think there's a bird that's going upstairs. Anyway, so, um, or things like washi tape, or let me show you the brads. I had this, um, I've had it for years, and I, don't, I only get a chance to use it in things like this, so I would use it up in projects like this as opposed to kind of making a... So if you've got little things like that, these are ideal for you to use it in because it kind of adds to the page, it looks pretty, you know, some of the colours might, you know, complement what you're doing. Um, so I, as I said, I made the tags first and then stuck them in because... Um, yeah, just stuck them in because I wanted them to be for that particular page as opposed to apart from this one, which, you know, it might go on the back somewhere. It might go there. And I might even create a little pocket. Oh, yeah. It might go there. So, you know, there's flexibility. Um, so, if you're just, you know, thinking to yourself, oh, I've got all these things and I don't use them anymore. Um, as well as giving them away, you can always add them, you know, like you might create little packs where you can give them away, or, you know, you might be able to add them to things like mini books that, or make, um, or mini journals, or, you know, when you're embellishing pages like this, that it can add to that page. So, just a little tip there. Anyway, so thank you for joining me today. And look forward to showing you the third one in this particular series in the sense of a um, directories um, book. Look forward to showing you that one and showing you what I've done with it. So stay blessed for now and see you tomorrow.